is the desktop done with the advent of the phablet and cloud and all of our other portable devices? Does anyone really need the big clunker on the desk anymore? WSJ's personal technology columnist Jeffrey Fowler joins us now to tell us, yes, there's at least one desktop he's coveting. Hi, Jeffrey. Thanks for being with us. Thanks for having me. So, Jeffrey, we know you like your desktop regardless, but tell us your feelings about the new iMac desktop. So last week, Apple came out with an iMac that has so many pixels on its screen, you're never going to have to think about pixels again. <laughs> it's got 14 million pixels. It's four times as many as any computer you've used before. They use the term 5K to describe it. What it means in practice, though, is let's say you have like a really fancy digital SLR camera. Yeah. For the first time, you're going to see all the pixels that you've been taking all at once. But let me ask you something. How tiny can the pixel really get before it ceases to make a difference to the human eye? That is a great question. We and we are right to be suspicious of lots of claims from tech companies, TV makers, you name it. They keep kind of upping the level of, of pixels to try to get us to upgrade, right? So we've had um, high def TVs and then ultra high def TVs. Now we're talking about a 5K display on a computer. Let me tell you, the, the place where it really matters though is when you're sitting really close to a display. And I think that on the desktop where you're about two feet away from the screen, it really matters. And this display on this Retina iMac is gonna cost you about $500 more than a, than a sort of similarly uh, 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 built out regular iMac. So that means, you know, you don't really need it. Right. But you're really going to want it. It looks gorgeous. It looks absolutely stunning. I have to agree with you. But that is a lot of money, $2,500. Can't we just buy the monitor and hook it up to our laptop? Unfortunately, no. <laughs> they haven't worked out that technology yet. There's really, at this point on the market, no other display that out there that's like this that can give you all of that resolution and can really give you that experience. Here's the way I think about it. You asked at the beginning, you know, why do we still have desktops around in this era of laptops and, and tablets and whatnot? The way I think about it is desktops used to, we used to think of them as kind of these workhorse computers. They did lots of processing. We don't really need them for that anymore. What we need them for now is to be these ultimate display. They're kind of screen powerhouses. They give you the best view of the world, of your digital world that you can get. And I think this new Retina iMac is the best screen that I've ever seen. And who's going to get the most, though, out of a desktop like this? Who, who really should spend the $2,500 on it? Well, there are folks who mostly do um, you know, word processing and office documents and web surfing. Those people are going to see an, an improvement on this, right? The fonts are going to be crisp. Mm -hmm. You know, Things are going to look like those icons are going to look kind of like they're painted on the screen. But I think the people who are going to get the most out of it are either creative professionals or just prosumers like me, folks with a nice digital camera or with a GoPro that they use on the weekends and on vacations who want to make things on it. Um, I do a lot of photography, as I mentioned, and it really gave me a view of the pictures I've been taking that I've never seen before. In fact, it showed me that some of my pictures are kind of out of focus and a little blurry, and I need to work on that. All right. All right, Jeffrey, sounds great. Thank you so much for that.